Hey peeps, welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different for our most absurd Monday. I'm going to be working with clay today. Since I only got a couple replies for my last pick letter that starts with the word P, I decided that this would be a perfect time to do a sculpture since it will be a lot less complicated. And I chose this orangey color to match Mavis's fur. I thought it fit very well. And I realized that before I started sculpting this, I don't really have a glass or plastic dome for his helmet, so instead of doing his typical helmet, I'm going to make him little space pajamas, and you will see why as we get further into the sculpture. The clay I am working with is a Sculpey brand polymer clay. I'm not sponsored by them, but I really do like their brand of clay. And also, as I was sculpting him, I have to make his body really chubby because he mainly lives off of a diet of macaroni and cheese which is definitely not that healthy. So we have to make him look a little porgy and a little round to match that. And here is the reason why I hate working with white clay. I actually have a video for that. I'll put it up in the corner. White clay always collects everything, dust and other clay and other colors off of your hands. So even if you clean your surface a lot, for some reason it still collects it. It drives me crazy. Sorry about that, I thought I'd add some drama. Anyways, on to making these little pajamas look more like a spacesuit. So I went ahead and I added some little buttons on it and some lines to make it look like a suit. And I think a lot of us, whenever we think of a space person or a spaceman, we always have one particular design in mind and it's a character that's from a certain popular movie. I can't say names because, well, you know why, but I think we all know who that is. And I hate working with red clay as well because it gets on everything and it can stain surfaces and it gets into any of the lighter colors. So always try to wash your hands in between using the different clays. Now on to making Mavis's face. This orange color I really think is perfect. I'm so happy that I did not have to mix any colors to get to this point. I'm the pain. I'm the misery. He's fine. Anyways, I'm going to add that detail of that ring that goes around the helmet. Now, I don't really know what those are called. I think it has something to do with keeping the oxygen inside the helmet for pressurization. But I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. So if you know, please let me know in the comments below. And now I'm going in with a needle nose tool. If you don't have this tool, don't worry about it. You can use your fingernails or you can use a needle. And then I'm going to put his little paws here. And going in with this tool, it's like having long skinny fingers. It really does help. If you don't have this tool as well, don't worry about it. You can use anything you find lying around that kind of has a soft tip. And here I messed up his foot really badly. So <laughs> I tried fixing it, but oh well, I did my best. That's what he gets for walking around hot planets all the time. He gets melted shoes. And then there's his little tail. And going in with some black clay. I'm going to give him some eyes and some facial features. I bet he's probably very happy that he can finally see. And here's his tiny little nose. And this part, honestly, I think almost any sculptor or polymer clay artist can admit this is probably one of the most difficult, tedious things making thin clay lines to add details. There's this one um, artist that I follow on social media and she is extremely talented and she makes all these really really small designs and it impresses me. I'll put the link for her down below. I don't think she has a YouTube channel, she just has Instagram so be sure to check her out and show her some love. Okay, and I'll set Mavis in here with his boys. Well, 
while they were parting it up, I went ahead and washed my hands. And here we're going to start working on a little pineapple beanbag chair. I thought that would be a perfect way to tie in Mavis in his jammies. He'll be sitting in a beanbag pineapple chair while eating popcorn. So that is the big reveal of how I mixed these three different comments together. And this right here is my secret weapon, which a lot of polymer clay artists use, and it's called chalk pastel. And this adds details and it does like different dimensions, the way that you work with it. I'm just using it to add shading so it looks more like a pineapple. And I'm alternating between two different colors with a paintbrush. This really helps add that pineapple look. Need to blow off the excess. Oops, poor guy. How rude. Oh, she'll survive. Anyways, now we need to work on making the crown for the pineapple or the leaves. I'll put it in my rolling machine here. Well, that was embarrassing. Anyways, now I'll show you how to make some leaves using that cutting tool. If you are new to using a cutting tool or you are a child, please seek out parental supervision because blades like this can hurt you. Even though they're designed to work with soft clay, they are still very sharp. So doing a zigzag pattern, I was able to create these leaves and I just rolled them up so that it could fit into a little crown shape. I had to chop off a little excess and then I placed it on top and it created perfect leaves. And I went in with that long finger tool and just squished it in so that it wouldn't fall off. And there you have it, a perfect little pineapple. Now I gotta go get Mavis from his party with the guys. Goodbye Mavis, don't forget about us, okay? I do feel bad splitting them up, but don't worry, I'll put his little pineapple chair right next to them so that they can be united again. Now on to making the little popcorn container. I started by taking some white clay and rolling it into a long cylinder that has one side that's thinner than the other, and then I squished those sides down so that each one was flat, so it made a squared or rectangle shape. And then I added some popcorn kernels. This took a really long time, so I decided that I'd cut that whole process out for you, but as you can see, it's very tedious. And then I wanted to add a piece of popcorn that was kind of off to the side, because who of us when eating popcorn doesn't make a mess? I know I do. I end up getting popcorn all over the place, and I find it months later in my couch. So I'm just as messy as Mavis. And that piece did not want to come off the pointed tool. I had to go in a couple times and try. It was having a very clingy day. And on to making those typical red stripes that you see on popcorn containers. I tried looking it up where that came from, and I'm not really sure why does a lot of movies or pictures depict popcorn as red and white stripes. If anyone knows, please be sure to comment below. I would really like to know, because popcorn is one of my top favorite snacks. What's yours? Let me know in the comments as well. And here I'm going in just putting those stripes on the container. And I didn't put them all the way around, I just put them on the front and sides because the back is going to end up getting squished into Mavis, so there's no necessity for it being on the back. As you can see, it's really starting to look like a popcorn container and I have to clean up the red clay again here. It makes such a mess. And I didn't realize that there was still some red left there but it's kind of a reminder to make sure to really wash your surface when you're working with clay. And now for the last piece of this, it's just putting the popcorn on Mavis and trying to get his little paw to be able to reach there. I did end up having to stretch the paw out a little bit, which kind of ruined the side of his jacket, but that's okay. He's just happy to have his popcorn. Alrighty, and that is the final piece. Here is Mavis on a pineapple beanbag chair eating popcorn. I am not sure what movie he's watching to eat with this popcorn. Let me know what your favorite movie is down below and maybe that's what Mavis is watching. Also, in my next shout out video, please be sure to comment. I would love to hear from you all. And it would be really cool to be able to maybe do a painting next time as well. Okay, bye.